Hi, everyone. In today's video, the center of attention is on Liza Soberano. But before we proceed, I would like to invite you all to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't subscribed yet. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification, so you won't miss any of my future video uploads. Without further ado, let's now go straight to the video. Liza Soberano opens up about her insecurities. Liza Soberano has been hailed as one of the most beautiful faces in Philippine showbiz, but she admitted that, just like anyone else, she harbors numerous insecurities. During a conversation with Vicky Bello, Soberano said, her number one insecurity would be her weight. Throughout my showbiz career, I would always get criticized for my weight, fluctuating back and forth, and the rumors about me being pregnant, just because of me gaining a little weight, it would really affect my mental health," she said. While saying that, she doesn't think she is unhealthy, because she tries to live a healthy lifestyle, Soberano said, the demands of being in showbiz is physically unattainable. I always get compared to girls that are smaller than me, my peers that are smaller than me. Because I am half American, I also am a little bit on the bigger side," she said. As such, Soberano tends to always cover herself up with bigger size clothing, or by dressing in the same silhouettes over and over again, because that became my comfort zone. Aside from her weight, Soberano said, she's also insecure about her skin especially on her legs. I had really bad skin growing up. I had allergic reactions to the air, changing environment. Because I grew up in America, and I came here, all of a sudden, I had all these rashes coming up my legs. I kind of got bullied in school for that. People would call me, Hayup, instead of saying, Hi Hope. People would say, I had gallus like a dog, because my skin was really bad, she said. Coming into showbiz, Soberano shared, that individuals would consistently draw attention to her knees, noting their scarred and darker appearance, in contrast to others blessed with flawless skin. Furthermore, Soberano said, she's also become insecure about her hair recently. As I got older, my hair started thinning a bit. I got alopecia actually around 2020 due to stress, and also, I guess the nature of the industry that we are in, we are constantly getting our hair and makeup done, constantly under a lot of pressure, and then lack of sleep, she said. What can you say about this? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching. You will probably never see me again, unless, you subscribe for more. Adios.